Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you can get notified every week when we post new videos. All right, I'm gonna jump into it because new agents or those who are aspiring new agents are wondering this one big question. What is it like making a salary as a real estate agent? Now, salary versus commissions versus contract work, like these are all big terms and words that maybe you don't understand. And that's okay. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it means to make a commission as a real estate agent and how your pay is broken down. Okay, so let's dive right in. I am going to share my screen because there's some good resources that I want to share with you. Okay, so first and foremost, one of the top top things that I always tell um, real estate agents when we're first starting out is that they are going to expect to make um, an average if they're just getting started. Um, you're going to be, you know, getting started with about one to seven transactions in your first year. Depends on which brokerage you go to, right? It depends on which team. And this is a completely other video that I will go into, um, but it does matter. It does matter because depending on what your goals are with real estate, you're going to want to choose the right team for you. So if you're looking at growing a big team, you yourself wants to be independent and really do um, amazing things with your real estate business, then maybe you want to choose a, a real estate brokerage that really helps maximize those things for you. Whereas if you're really looking to just do as many transactions as possible, and you're really not looking to ever grow a team or to really, um, you know, try to search for those and do the marketing on your own or build your own personal brand, then you might be looking for something different. And there are definitely brokerages out there that can be for you. So in this video, I just want to walk you through how the commission structure works and what you can expect from an average real estate salary. So if we're looking countrywide, um, obviously these bigger states, Washington, in California, Virginia, New York, uh, New Hampshire, these are going to be your top states for how much you could make with real estate. Now, these are the average annual salaries. So this is the average what a real estate agent could make on a yearly basis. Um, Texas ranks pretty high. Uh, we're looking at about a $75,000 um, average annual salary, and that depends on your commissions. So how do you break down how much you make as a real estate agent? Well, it's pretty simple, okay? What usually happens, and this is, I say usually because um, depending on how the contract is written and what the buyer and seller agree on um, for, or I guess I should say what the agreement is between the buyer representative and the seller representatives, um, the commission structure could be different. So what will happen is usually we'll just say it's a about a five to a six percent commission total for the buyer and seller, um, and then that is split um, as the whole of the of the amount of the home price between the buyer and the seller agents. Now the seller and the buyer agents are going to have to potentially pay a commission to their brokerage. So you will probably hear something about splits, commission splits. Now this is something that is different by every brokerage. So it's something to keep in mind. Now, this is Investopedia. I love Investopedia because if you are looking at um, just looking at any financial information, um, you're looking at some simulations or you want some calculators on how to, how to do anything and really anything with real estate as well. Um, Investopedia is your kind of go-to. Um, it, it, I like the Pedia end because it's literally like a dictionary or encyclopedia as you, as you will. Um, that is, is really helpful. So here you can see in a 60-40 split, each agent in the example that they've presented here is going to receive $3,600 off of that commission that they've, they've, they've showed. So this is based on a $200,000 house with a commission rate of 6% total. So that total commission rate is $12,000. But if each of the sides, buyer and seller, is each getting 50%, and then you've got to pay your brokerage their commission split, you're going to be end up paying a split of your portion. So of your $6,000, if you have a 60-40 split, then the agent is going to receive $3,600 in that example. The broker is going to receive $2,400 of that example because the broker is receiving the 40% and the agent is receiving the 60%. So it's pretty simple breakdown that way. All right, so you are gonna find many uh, brokerages that are all different. You'll find 60-40, you could even find some that are 80-20. Um, and then you will also find some that offer other value and bonuses on top of that and other fees on top of that. So always keep that in mind when you're, when you're kind of thinking through what your commission could be on a listing or um, on a sale, then it really depends on how much you've agreed to in your fees, 
um, and in your commission splits with your brokerage. Um, there are lots of different um, other things that you, you should keep in mind as well. Um, here, I love uh, this little chart um, because it again shows us that that salary range um, by state. Um, so you can see in California, it might be average of 82,000 in Texas, that might be an average of 75,000. Now, if I was to do a quick calculation, right? Like, let's just pretend that you're getting 100% commissions off of every single one of those, and we're just gonna divide. So 70,000, and let's just say your average commission um, was about $6,000, okay? That's 12 and a half transactions. So if you have more fees coming out, you have more, more um, of a commission split, you're not taking that full 100% commission, then you're gonna expect to need a lot more transactions to get to that average, right? And that is why so many Asians don't make as much because they are, you know, maybe they're, they're not doing as many transactions, but they are paying a lot more of those brokerage fees and those that brokerage um, commission split. So there's different ways that you can look at this. Now, if when you're looking for the right brokerage for you, maybe something that is more important to you is being high in volume of transactions. And that's great. If you wanna be high volume in transactions, then you have to have a great marketing strategy because as we train on, it is not the best real estate agent who wins, it is the best marketer. So if you can learn to market really, really well, or maybe your brokerage markets really, really well, then maybe you have that influx of listings constantly or influx of, of buyers um, really looking for, for homes uh, consistently. So it all depends on the number of transactions, right? Now, um, to do that type of math and to do that type of figuring out, you really have to set goals for yourself. So as you're going into real estate, start to think about what it is that you want to achieve. Now, we have a whole other video that we're going to get into that's going to talk about different marketing tactics and different ways that real estate agents can get leads. So if you are looking to go into a brokerage that maybe has a little bit less of a commission split, but doesn't exactly help entirely with the marketing, so you have to do a lot of your own marketing, that's okay too. You can still win by doing your own marketing. It's not a scary thing. Um, in fact, there are a lot of really great ways to do marketing. In fact, if you are looking for a little bit of training, we promote um, YouTube as one of the top ways to, to drive leads. Obviously, you're here watching this video on YouTube right now. Um, so it is a really great driver of, of um, business for our team. And I know um, as you're getting started, this might be a really great driver of traffic for you as well. In fact, social media, um, YouTube, all of these things are great to, um, to tap into. So I highly encourage you, come to this website. It's locatingtx.com slash agents. Schedule a call with us so you can learn more. Um, we're absolutely happy to walk you through our process of how we've grown our YouTube channel. In fact, in the last year, we have made uh, about 10 million in sales um, just from YouTube, just from YouTube. So uh, generating leads through YouTube is definitely possible and we want to help you learn how you can do that too. So feel free to give us a call or come to this page and schedule a call with us and we are so happy to help you learn the magic and secrets of YouTube.